this video is still in one video hi guys welcome back again to my channel our channel if you're new here please subscribe to this channel like this video comment and share your opinion in the comment section after watching this video firstly first what do you guys think about this i am putting at the end or the end part of my video like the edge at the right hand side or the left hand side what do you guys think about this me putting my profile picture okay you know as this goes by on this platform you get to you know try new things do new things and i want i want it to look like like whatever i'm doing on this channel i just want to carry you guys along you understand i want to take you guys along so tell me what you think meanwhile my name is ella sutebo and subscribe if you haven't liked this video okay so guys it is shocking if i is shocked a lot to my bone marrow that rosio if i the you turn the you know rosio new development the character development of rosio i am surprised how rosio has become so lovely submissive you know nice to mawa to the extent cooking or garlic omg rosio is wife material guys rosio suits mawa rosio is perfect match of mawa you understand because see rosio in the kitchen <laughs> hey god guys rosio is make your gale at least rosio is telling argentina that don't think that i was in kenya in vain don't think that i was just there you know people are serving me i was just there calling their parasite i was just there saying i'm boss lady no i learned how to make ogali so i was super excited that rosio did prepared this ogali make the food the soup you know how mawa wants it so it means that in the side of rosio guys it is not going to be a big deal despite remember rosio said cooking is not her hobby she don't like cooking she don't like going to kitchen she do it once a while that is not her hobby but for rosio to do this which means mama be the husband or the husband to be there is her mama will keep on talking to her she will keep on doing this because mama said according to him in their village men don't do these things you understand though he normally he generalizes that uh, african men no no it's only more village you understand it's not african men so i was so surprised so Rosio said that she cannot go to kitchen. Guys, there are so many things that we ladies have said when we were younger. Or there are some things that I say when or before giving birth. There are things I used to like. There are things I will never do. There are things that, you know, there are some people, they don't like doing house chores. But once baby comes in, <laughs> you must do house chores because there's no way that baby cloth to be dirty or poop or something you will not be the one to change it i don't know if you guys understand so i believe that rosio is going to learn <laughs> she's already learning already i don't know if she's doing this like let's say she's doing this to to make argentina people to or to entice mawa so that more will build house for the family i don't know if she's doing this so that people will call her a good wife but i just feel she's doing this because she really wants to do it. Because if Rosio did not cook, it means that hunger will fire two of them. Because <laughs> it's not every time that mom wants to buy or mom can really afford food. Look at the you know the corn flour mom bought. Mom is already complaining about the price. So if mom cannot cook, Rosio cannot cook. It means that either they keep buying, and as they are buying, the more they are spending more. I don't know if you guys understand. So it's like that. Another thing, <laughs> my people, my people, Mama, as usual, he want to compare a price of something to his village. He wants his audience to know that the amount that he used to buy this particular thing in his village is going to buy the bag. He wants to let you know that the amount that he used to buy this, <laughs> if in his village, he's going to buy the full house. So Mama was comparing the price of the corn flour. Whether you compare it or not, it does not change anything, you understand? Except 
that kind of a thing you will carry from you buy it cheap from your village then take it wherever you are taking it to you understand and it is also not um it is also not good to be compared things like that because people from that country might feel maybe to them that money is cheap but you compare it them i feel you are you are trying to complain about inflation or try to tell the world that ah, this country is very expensive but moving on mawa <laughs> you see there are things that cannot be changed in the human being there is no way people will complain and complain and say ah, everywhere mawa go mawa is looking for gali i just feel it is something that cannot be taken away from him i just feel it is something that is used to him just like some people like a week there's no way i can stay a week without eating rice you understand rice and stew fried rice and all that today i cook rice and stew yesterday i cook fried rice i don't know if you understand it's still rice but rice in different ways you understand i can cook rice and sauce and like that so there's no week i can stay without eating rice i don't know if you guys understand so it's something that you cannot take away from me just like there's no two weeks i cannot eat Turkey. Even this week, the rice and uh, you know fried rice that is with Turkey. So I'm just like that. So I just feel in this side of Mawa, I know it's because it is local food. It's like hey Mawa with local food, Mawa with Tugali. But guys, I feel there are some things you cannot take away from people. And yes, Rosio asks a very intelligent question, which I'm going to play the video. Rosio asks, with those times you have been traveling, how were you coping? And Mawa said. He always search for local food. He always search for local dishes. Sometimes he goes to Nigeria, uh, Nigeria restaurant. He goes to Kenya restaurant. He said he there must be a way that there is no way he can stay a week without looking for a local restaurant. So I don't know if that answer is a perfect answer to that because even if you go to Nigeria restaurant, they don't sell gali, but they sell fufu, and they sell gari. I think maybe Mawa cope with that. They sell semu, you understand? But <laughs> it cannot. And there's no way I'm going to say it now that it can be, you know, it can be taken from Mawa. Ogali is part of him, so it means if you know they can sell corn flour in the Argentina. Which means Mawa will see Ugali to eat, to make. So Mawa food or favorite food, not getting his favorite food will not be a problem then. Though he's complaining about the price, but he will, he's going to buy it. You understand? So I also think that Mawa should try and get used to other people's food and culture. You understand? Even as you like that Ugali, at least the family tried by giving him rice and beans, rice and beans. But no, that Ugali still is mine. So I'm glad that Rosio have led to do this. <laughs> I'm so happy because, hey, you know, Rosio turning so, you know, becoming submissive is a, is <laughs> is shocking, you know. I'm surprised how Rosio is becoming so lovely and submissive. Is it because it she's in her country now, or it is, or is it because she was missing her parents, she was missing her family, that right now she is in a Argentina, she's behaving more well than when she's Kenya, you know, doing this boss lady of a thing, you know, dictating, controlling. Or is it because Mawa took Rosio back to her humble beginning? Because when Mawa went to Rosio house, he said, This is Rosio humble beginning, where Rosio came from. So Mawa taking Rosio to Rosio humble beginning. Decided to humble Rosio. <laughs> so he decided to humble Rosio. Anyway, let me play the video for you guys to watch and also like and share this video. Thank you. Yeah, the half time, the price. And it's the same thing. The only difference is this is packaged. No, it's not exactly the same. Why? So, guys, today I'm doing Ugali for Mr. Matata. Ugali, African As expected, Ugali. Because honestly, I can't survive. You know, guys, since, uh, since I came to Argentina, I've been really... One week only. One yeah, week. I, f I feel weak. weak. He's already crying, crying. A hundred percent. Crying, crying. I feel weak, weak, and, 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 and I, I swear before God, it's not like I'm... I'm, I'm and I have a question. How...
do you survive when you travel all over the world all because i change food countries? i change food like right now i would go to the countries for example when i was in this city there's a restaurant downtown i used to eat peruvian yeah. food okay peruvian food but there's no ugali in germany there's no ugali in holland there's no ugali in sweden How i go to survive? i go to somali restaurant how do you survive? I go to Somali restaurants. They Somali. have Somali? Yes, in Europe. Or Nigerian. Or even Kenyan. Okay, you can open your Kenyan restaurant in Mar del Plata. Should I open a restaurant in Mar del Plata, guys? Maybe I should actually consider that. Because you. That is a high possibility. Yes. As you tell high me, possibility. As you tell me in Kenya when we are in the village, oh, Open a coffee if you want coffee. Open a bakery. Cook this for you. Cook please. <laughs> for three dollars and a half. Not exciting. Rocio's first time to cook ugali abroad. One week only. One week only. Why? One week only we are in Argentina. And God, my dad are crying, crying. I want It's not like I'm crying, crying. You know, guys, we've weak, come weak, to live here. Weak, weak. To be honest, weak. I feel weak, weak. <laughs> to be honest. I feel weak, weak. Wobbly, wobbly. Wobbly, wobbly, guys. Wobbly, 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 wobbly. <laughs> okay, like, guys. You will see how we do uh, Ugali in my video. Okay. So